want to welcome you to this Ansible for Network Engineers course. This course is not like other Ansible courses. In my experience, I find that most Ansible courses are geared towards server administrators rather than network engineers. They teach you how to install applications on servers, how to start web servers, and do other configurations on servers. This course doesn't do that. This course focuses solely on the configuration of network devices using Ansible. Rather than trying to teach you deep theoretical concepts about Ansible, I'm going to get you using Ansible and configuring network devices as quickly as possible. We'll use Ansible playbooks to configure OSPF on Cisco routers and switches. We'll use the power of Ansible multiprocessing to quickly configure multiple network devices with multiple configuration options. We'll use loops and variables and other Ansible options to quickly and efficiently configure and manipulate network devices. But rather than trying to get deep into theory and making you wait before you can actually use Ansible, I'm going to very quickly get you started using Ansible. So in the same way as my Python courses, this Ansible course is practical, it's network focused. If you're not a network engineer, or you're not looking to use Ansible with network devices, then this course is probably not for you, because that is the focus of this course. Interaction between Ansible and network devices such as Cisco routers and switches. This course leverages the power of GNS3, but you don't have to use GNS3. I'm going to use a pre-built network automation container in GNS3 and network devices to get you quickly started using Ansible, but you don't have to do that. You could use a Linux virtual machine or run Linux directly on your laptop as an example and configure network devices directly from your laptop. Be aware, however, that you cannot use a Windows PC as the control node in Ansible. You either need to use GNS3 and the network automation container within GNS3 or a Linux VM or a MacBook as an example to use Ansible. So you typically need Linux or Mac OS to use Ansible. That's another reason why you should be learning Linux. In my Linux for Network Engineers course, I'll teach you how to use Linux. Don't reinvent the wheel. Use the hard work that others have done and made freely available through Ansible. Ansible hides a lot of the complexity and difficulty configuring network devices from you. It's open source. It's free. So don't reinvent the wheel. Simply leverage what's freely available and spend your time automating networks rather than trying to reinvent the wheel. Where's your greatest value as a network engineer? I think a lot of it's related to your understanding of networking. So use these tools and your knowledge and experience of networking to make yourself even more valuable. The combination of Python skills, Ansible skills, and network skills is very rare today. Be one of those network engineers that has knowledge of those three topics to make yourself more valuable in today's marketplace. There are many advantages to using Ansible, including the fact that it, by default, supports multiprocessing. If you create a Python script to automate a network device, you'll notice that it's very slow when you then try and scale from, let's say, five devices to 500 devices. But Ansible has that built-in scalability and built-in multi-threading already. Someone's already spent the time using Python to create Ansible. So rather than you using Python to create something similar to Ansible, why not just leverage the work that someone else has done and automate your networks as quickly as possible? Again, don't reinvent the wheel. Simply leverage what others have done and take it a step further. Make yourself more valuable by being able to leverage the tools and modules that are available in Ansible 
to quickly and efficiently configure many network devices. For basic network automation with Ansible, you don't need a lot of programming or any programming experience. If you can read the running config of a router, you'll be able to interpret an Ansible playbook and understand very quickly what that playbook is doing. Ansible is simple. Ansible doesn't require a complicated infrastructure. All the devices need is SSH. Ansible is what's called an agentless network automation tool. You don't need to install an agent on your network devices to use Ansible. With them, your network devices only need SSH. On your controlling device, all you need is Python. So you just need a Linux VM or a Linux Docker container running Python, and it's very easy to install the open source version of Ansible on your Linux VM or Linux container. And then SSH to network devices and configure them. Sometimes the most elegant solutions are the most simple. Don't do complex. Use simple tools and the abstraction that Ansible provides you to quickly get automating and quickly get configuring network devices. You won't do it perfectly in the beginning, but that doesn't matter. Rome wasn't built in a day. Babies don't run marathons. Start slowly and iterate your Ansible playbooks. You'll start configuring something small within a GNS3 network, but you'll see that with Ansible, you can very, very quickly configure very complex things without a lot of extra work. Ansible simplifies the configuration of network devices. You don't need a complex infrastructure. You don't need a complex server. You don't need complex skills. You don't need a university degree. Within a very short time, you can be configuring network devices using Ansible, and you will be in this course. So again, welcome to my Ansible course. Please provide feedback on ways that I can improve the course. Based on the feedback and comments that I receive, I'll add more content or adjust the content in the course. I want to wish you all the very best in your journeys with network automation and network programmability. Ansible is one of the key building blocks available to you when automating networks. Learn Ansible, learn Python, learn Linux and build a bright future for yourself. Don't wait to learn. Start today. Start automating a GNS3 network or your home network or a small lab network today. Learn, grow and then start automating production networks. All journeys start with one step. Take this first step with me and let's get started automating networks.